All right, guys. As promised, here's a video about the um, reverse uh, David Bradley reverse hubs. All right. This is the other 46. This is the one we call ugly. All right. Uh, had the reverse on, uh, added to it. Um, it's missing a couple of parts. There should be a couple of springs on here just to hold this uh, in, in place uh, and uh, help it move. Um, anyways, uh, for the purpose of this. Uh, uh, video showing you how it works not important. Okay, first of all we loosened up the big clamp nut All right, if you have not watched the other video that I put on the hubs, please do so All right, otherwise uh, you might be lost for some parts here. I'm not gonna go over every single thing All right, take that off the whole hub slides right off Comes right off. Okay, you know the hub the teeth all look good Okay, like I told you this freaking hub weighs six pounds I couldn't uh, get over it. I had to put it on a scale and check it out. Six pounds, that sucker. Unreal, man. Solid steel, cast, one piece. Wood grease fitting. Yeah. Try to find that today. Good luck. All right, guys. Here we go. Here's the reverse. Again, if you watch the other video, you know what you're looking at here. All right? You've seen the pour. All right? This pour here, okay? The pour here, which is what clicks. You hear the clicking noise when you roll the tractor clicks onto the teeth inside the, the hub. All right, put this here so we can get a better look at it maybe. All right, so that's the pour, just like on a ratchet, okay? This, have, this being reversed, it has two pores, all right? One to catch it in one direction, one to catch it in the other direction. All right, um, let's see if I can show you how that works here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Um, we'll see here, let me see. Uh, yeah, give me try. Oh, here we go. Okay. Okay. Here we go. See, I turned it that way. That locks that pour up there. I turn it the other way. It frees the pour up. The spring pushes it out. That spring pushes it out. So it catch, it's going to catch the teeth. Turn it the other way. The spring pulls it in. And obviously, whatever happens to one, the opposite happens to the other. Okay. Okay. Pushes it in. Pulls it out. This is great. Shows you. Really nice and simple. Okay. So when this tooth catches, going in one direction, the other tooth is locked. All right, the other pour, I'm calling it a tooth, the other pour. All right, and vice versa. Okay, that's great that that worked. All right, I wasn't sure it was going to. All right, there's a little clip on the back side that does that for you, freeze it. All right, which uh, the exertion of the transmission makes it turn one way or the other. Okay, so that's how the reverse works. Exactly the same principle as your ratchet. Okay, it's not that complicated, all right. Uh, you watch the other video and you look at what you're looking at. This is just the same thing doubled Basically the same exact thing doubled. That's all it is. All right. It's not that complicated, right? Um, I'm gonna try to show you on the 55 over here All right um, You can see those hubs down there. You see those springs going around the outside of that uh, White metal that's uh, what's missing on the other one those springs that holds it in place and helps it turn and uh and stay put okay now when this motor is running okay um the transmission the main transmission belt turns counterclockwise all right facing the shroud the engine turns clockwise um uh, transmission turns counterclockwise however this outer belt is the transmission belt that's the when you engage with the handle i can't do this by myself obviously right when you engage that this has a clutch in it Okay, which catches the gear inside here and it turns in the opposite direction and that turning in the opposite direction is what gives you the reverse okay it's not that complicated all right it's just a gearing thing one goes in one direction one goes in the other and that's really how it works guys um, again it's not that complicated all right the, uh, you're going to see the big uh, pulley turns in one direction the small pulley when it's engaged will turn in the other direction all right and that's really all there is to it, okay? And uh, on the uh, the hubs themselves, you can see it's a pretty simple mechanism, man. Uh, when that thing is turned, one paw sticks out and catches the hub, or the other paw sticks out and catches the hub. All right, and that's really all there is to it. And um, when you go to put this hub back on, okay, you gotta push that in a little bit to make it snap in there, okay? Push the paw in to make it snap in there. Okay, that's all there is to it, all right? So, any other questions you got about this, shoot me a line, man. 
glad to help you out but uh, this should really explain everything to you I'm zooming in here so you can see one pour there one pour on top little spring that's it man a little spring and a pour that's all there is to it, it pops right out it's no problem there's nothing holding it in again watch the other video if you need more close-up on how to actually take it apart and put it back together all right and uh, I should do it guys hopefully this will help you guys out uh, with the reverse if you still need uh, more information I do have a PDF file on the reverse and the speed changer shoot me an email with your email address and I'll gladly send it to you I am always open to share things all right that's why I do these videos you know to share a little bit of knowledge I do have and a hell of a lot but um, you know I feel uh, knowledge is useless unless you share it with others that's just my theory all right all right guys i'm just doing this on purpose just to zoom in you guys can really get a close look at this because i know looking at a pdf file with black and white pictures uh with all kinds of arrows and numbers and everything else uh sometimes can be as uh, useless as tits on a bull it's a lot easier to look at the real thing and see it up close and personal all right again that's why i think videos are much better than any kind of books or anything else all right guys i want to wrap this up with one last thing here i mean that's the skull i found a couple of weeks ago I showed you guys well I thought it was a coyote now I'm being told it's a fox who the hell knows anyways today walking through the woods we came across another one this sucker is big check out the teeth on that baby this sucker is pretty big big eye sockets this baby uh, it's about six inches wide at least uh, outer rim to outer rim if it wasn't broken off the front I'd say it'd be at least 12 inches long 10 to 12 inches long I believe it's a deer I don't know. I'm not a hunter, like I said. Uh, you know what it is? Give me a shot. I just like to know what the heck it is. Uh, it's a narrow head. I'm thinking it's a deer. So, uh, I know, Mike, you think it's a cubacabra. I'm going to have to give uh, Scully and Mulder a call. And, uh, have them come out here and uh, investigate this situation here. I don't want uh, Bigfoot uh, coming over here and uh, stealing my David Bradley. All right, guys. That's about it. I hope you got, uh, helped you guys out with the reverse thing. All right, again, any questions, just shoot me a line, man. Glad to help you. All right, that'll be it. Welcome, Daniel.